Today's another day of garage sailing. We need to downsize and get rid of a lot of our stuff. Well, we've got a lot to do yet to pack up the house. Today's another day of garage sailing. We need to downsize and get rid of a lot of our stuff. Well, we dropped our stuff off at the garage sale and uh, that flooring that we didn't use in the master bedroom, we had four bundles left over. It was close to $75 a bundle. Remember that flooring that was so expensive? Remember we talked about this. I'm returning four of them. That's almost 300 bucks. Should be, I guess we'll find out. I'm here at EG Penner, and I just got to go around and meet them over there at that door on that side. Trying to get as much done as we can, and since I'm not going to be at work uh, for a couple more days than I wanted to, I wanted to be working right now. Well, we've got to find ways of how we can pinch pennies, right? We didn't use the flooring, got to bring it back. That's a few, that's a few uh, loonies we can pinch there. Not just pennies. This place is crazy busy. Look at this, even inside. Everywhere around town is really busy today. It's a Saturday, so I mean, people are out and about. And it's one of the last nice Saturdays before it starts getting cold. But, man, you never know how many people live in Steinbeck until they all come out at once. You're like, Whoa, where'd you all come from? I didn't know there's that many people in town. The population of Steinbach, I think, is officially what, like 15,000? Something like that. I think there's 30,000 in the surrounding region and stuff. But, uh, it's not the biggest. It's a small city. They call it a city, whatever. I call it a big town. Whatever. That's my door. Door 15. We'll back up to there. is the credit oh it doesn't say now I have to go back around to the front and get my money 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 makes the world go round money 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 I like money I want more don't we all don't we all this truck is so embarrassingly gross and my buddy Rick came with me uh, we're supposed to be grabbing coffee for the ladies and we figured we'd return this flooring right away while we're doing that. And it needs a detail so bad in here. And right now, especially, we've got all our junk in the back there yet. And I like to have clean vehicles. I just hate cleaning vehicles. So, like I said before, once we move and uh, all the dust settles and we get our first check of like our new financial life where everything's sort of a lot easier to maintain, uh, I'm treating myself, I'm taking this thing to get professionally detailed. There's a great detailer in town, it's called Dion Trader Detailing. I think that's his name, right? Dion Detailing? Trader Detailing? I don't know, he's in, he's in town with Steinbeck here, he does a great job. He does a great job, I'm gonna hire him to totally make this truck look brand new again on the inside. It's gonna be great. That'll be uh, maybe November, we'll see. $295.48. Almost 300 bucks. This is Rick. Hello. We're having the garage sale at his house. We're out here uh, getting coffee for the ladies. It only takes about an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, we- One we, of them's already <laughs> complaining. 
Oh no! Oh shoot, we better get going. We got distracted, but we got $300 distracted. We're turning the flooring in, eh? At least we got that. Let's go get it. Steinbach has a Starbucks now. But Rick's wife really likes Starbucks, and uh, we've been gone a really long time. <laughs> messing around. Well, we're not really messing around. We're getting stuff that we need to get done, done. But they're over there managing the garage sale while we're out here doing our thing. So Rick is going to surprise his wife with her favorite Starbucks drink, which is something with pumpkin spice, I think. But we figured we'd swing past here. She was already messaging him, wondering where we are. So figured we better come back with something nice. My wife's at work, just over there. But uh, I do the same for her, but we're not Starbucks fans. She likes the, well, I don't think she is. Do I know my own wife? Does she like Starbucks? Do I have a Starbucks lover living with me? No, that's silly. That's her. Oh, my truck is talking. Oh, I gotta get some gas yet on the way. Oh, we'll do that later, whatever. She'll go a while yet. Yeah, Starbucks in Steinbach. Can you believe it? What is this world coming to? But at least we have like, what? One, two, three Tim Hortons? That's a good balance. Yeah, three Tim Hortons, one Starbucks. That's a good good balance. I'd be more concerned if there was like 10 Starbucks and only three Timmies. That would be a problem. I'm hard on Starbucks. They're, they're a nice store, okay? I'm just joking. They're nice. I don't personally like their coffee, but it's a nice store. They got some really nice stuff there. If you want to spend an arm and a leg, it's got some great drinks. So what did you get her? Got her a medium pumpkin spice latte. Six fifty. I don't think it's worth it. Six six fifty. Is it gonna do the trick though? She's gonna be happy. I think so. That's all that matters. Let's hope. <laughs> Debbie. Debbie. He's off. <laughs> Quick stop by at home to let the boys out. You miss me? Just a little bit. <clears throat> Brought a friend. You guys ready for this? Wiener, where are you? Little guys go out first. Diesel, you wait. Wait. Go. Go on, Diesel. Don't bring your toy. Leave your toy. Drop it. Go on out. No, leave your toy. Go out. Jeez. So we quickly had to swing past home again. Make sure the boys got out and got their water. It's back to garage sailing. The sun's getting lower on the horizon cools down fast. It was a nice hot day. I think I got a bit of a sunburn. That's fine. But man, it's getting chilly now. Glad I brought my sweater. Got all this. We're gonna be here tomorrow yet? Yep. You are not for sale though. Bandit. <laughs> okay, okay, you convinced me. Our sign fell over again. It actually lasted all day. It fell over once first thing in the morning, and it's almost time to take them down again for today. There we go. Just waiting for Britt to get here, and then we'll be uh, closing things up again. One more day. It's actually been pretty successful. There's been quite a bit of quite a bit of traffic here. I've been surprised. I'm not really a garage sailor, but I'm learning a whole new garage sale culture. It's actually pretty popular. People are really into this stuff. Who knew? Oh, I noticed I get into my truck a lot on the vlog. <laughs> it's 
going to start being my trademark. Getting in the pickup for a drive. So we're done now for today. One more day tomorrow. We've actually been doing all right. A lot better than I thought we would. they didn't crash. Someone was asking where our camper is. There it is. How was work today? Long but good. I enjoy my job. Your face is still a little bit red from yesterday. Oh my gosh, I had such bad sunstroke yesterday. I'm exhausted mm. today. It wasn't even that hot, but that sun still beat down pretty hard. I was born a ginger, for those of you who don't know. So yeah. I still burn like a ginger. Is that someone whining down there? Yeah. Is that, is that Wiener? scratching his ear over there. Wiener. Hello. Is that you? Is that you? What do you want? What do you want? We couldn't see you much before. He was hiding. Everybody wants attention Shabby, right away. You're so jealous. <laughs> but that was the day. So Britt was at work all day. The garage sale so far has been pretty successful. A lot more successful than I thought it would be, like I was telling you before. I was not aware of this whole garage sale culture. Apparently it's a big deal around here anyways. True story. Uh, the only thing that we uh, could have maybe changed was Mitchell had their community garage sale today. And when I went to my mom's house before with Rick, that whole community was crawling, crawling with people like it was the state fair. So we should have done it. Yeah, Mitchell, Mitchell. It, was, it was a community garage sale in Mitchell today. And uh, we should have done it at mom and dad's house if we would have known that. But next, next year, year next year we might join that. I, I might be a an annual garage sailor now. I don't know. Kind of maybe, maybe twice a year. Ma oh. oh, oh, you guys have really impressed us. Like uh, all you garage sailors out there, I did not think it was a thing. I thought it was a waste of time. <laughs> I thought we were gonna. All I could think was like, we're, now we got to move everything twice because I wanted to just get rid of stuff. And she's like, no, let's. Go to the garage sale and try to sell it. Well, then we got to bring it to the garage sale. No one's going to buy it and we got to move it again. Well, Most of our stuff to... is being sold. Yeah, we'll have to move some, but hey, it's nice to at least make some money off things that maybe you treasured at one time but don't have room for, right? Mm -hmm. And there was a few of you who showed up today. I think there was at least six, six people who came. Oh, nice. Yeah. So thanks for showing up. That was fun. We got one more day out there. We're out there for Sunday, and uh, then, then that's it. And we just gotta figure out a way to get rid of everything else or store it, and then uh, get ready to move. We're excited. We're excited. And a lot of people, uh, the biggest comments on today's vlog were like, "Where are the dogs gonna run?" Well, I did mention that we did buy land. We bought a big piece of land outside of town, out in the country, where we're gonna be spending most of our time, at least in the summertime. So the dogs have lots of room to stretch their legs Spring, and run. Summer and fall, really. Yeah, so we get the best of both worlds. We get a, a small little like budget-friendly life in town. And whenever we want, we have land just outside town. We can just buzz down there and uh, let the dogs stretch their legs. They'll be just fine. Plus, I got two feet in a heartbeat. I can bring the dogs for walks. Yeah, <laughs> like, get the dogs for walks. And we're I putting a fence. on my butt. I am not a sitter. <laughs> no, she's not lazy, that's for sure. She's a hard worker. I try. Mm-hmm. And, uh... The yard that we're buying right now doesn't have a fence around it yet, but that's our first priority, number one priority. We're gonna put a fence around it right away so that uh, we can at least let these guys. So that our babies are yeah. safe. They are our number one priority in everything. So everything Always. we did, we did with them first in our mind. Yep. We are literally. those dog people, literally first in their mind. Every, those weirdos. Yeah, we, when we were looking at houses, everything we looked at was, how are the dogs gonna handle this? Yeah. How are they going to be? Are they going to be safe here? Are they going to be good here? So we found a house that was small, budget friendly, that also accommodated the dogs and plus the land that we can go out to and run around anytime we want. So. We actually found a modular home that we were debating getting. It was a little out of our price range, but we were going to make it work. We loved it. It was gorgeous, but there was no place for even a small space, like open space for diesel and Chevy to wrestle. 
So we decided not to get it based on the fact that the dogs wouldn't be happy. So yeah, <laughs> that's who <Yeah>. we are. <laughs> so you just got to wait and see. Just trust us. Everything is taken care of and they're going to be happy. And uh, so are we. And so will our bank account. So we, we uh, <laughs> spent a lot of time looking around debating on different options. And this was the best one. And plus, now we get to dream of our dream house that she is going to design. I'm very excited. I don't want any part in it. I trust her. She can design the whole house. Just don't make it pink. A pink house? Not purple either. Blue. Blue's okay. Not baby blue. Nice blue. Cobalt. Okay. Good blue. See? She knows what she's doing. So you guys will have to just uh, hang around. In the next couple of weeks, you'll get to tour both the, the new land, the property, the, the new acreage, and also our or smaller lot. Looking forward to sharing it with you. Take care everybody. You hit that like button if you liked it. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you tomorrow.